So last week I moved out of my Airbnb and I've just been crashing at friends places. In about two weeks I'm about to make an announcement on where I'm gonna be living next. And today's topic, I wanna talk about staying motivated. Life's good, huh boys? Life's good, huh huh boys? boys? It's a sign you just couldn't read it. Energy is heavier than elephants. This open mind's always feeling. All right, so we're at Tandem Boosty Boarding. My topic for today's video, staying motivated in New York City. What about it? Listen, listen to this. Everyone suffers from one of two pains. It's either the pain of discipline or ah. the pain of regret. Think about that for a minute. Okay, okay, so I've been thinking about this recently. But it's like, oh, if you wanna work out, you might wanna avoid the pain of working out. But if you avoid the pain of working out now, you'll experience the pain of not working out later. You wanna minimize the difference between the person you are and the person you can be. Pain of discipline versus pain of regret. You don't wanna do something? Well, get over it because the long-term pain hurts a lot more. Wait, you forgot the third pain. <laughs> Alright, so kids is that way. I want to buy some more clothes, trying to up my fashion because it got really, really cold all of a sudden and it's going to be fall. Sean is looking for housing. I feel like two videos ago I said we'd live together. I know. <laughs> Sean and I are most likely going to be roommates. Oh, what happened? Sean and I are not going to be roommates. We're good. No beef. That means Awkward. if I'm not living with Sean, where am I living? Oh. So we're gonna go shop at Kith now. Coming inside, you can't record. Just okay. Record. You can't no worries. Oh. What the heck? Whoa, that was sick. I'm picking up food with Elliot, and we literally just came from watching a Casey Nassad upload, and then we literally just skated by him just now. Me and Elliot looked at each other like, no, oh, that was my first time seeing Casey Nassad, who is. The reason why I wanted to start vlogging in New York City. JC, if you're watching this, um, you look great. Mm. One of my favorite movies is a recent movie and it's called Everything Everywhere All at Once. It's about a woman who explores the multiverse and sees the different versions of herself. They really showed how one small action can open up a branch, a new timeline. That idea like always fascinated me, which is why I like this movie so much. How does that relate? The pain of discipline versus the pain of regret. So I first moved to New York in 20. 19. Post-grad, 22 years old, I got my first software engineer job. It was a rough transition, I would say. I think a lot of people go through this, but once you graduate from college, you lose that overarching identity of being a student where you could literally do whatever you want after you graduate. You know, you've been a student from kindergarten to college. I went through that feeling, and when I got my first job in the city, I remember sitting down, first day at work, I was like, man, I have a 40 hour a week coding job. I also don't know anyone in the city. I was like, whoa, this is not what I pictured for post-grad life. In that first year, I started making YouTube videos. I made a few vlogs. I tried it out for the very first time. I made less than 10 videos. Ultimately, I stopped vlogging because it didn't feel like a life that was like worth vlogging. I didn't have the discipline to keep going. It wasn't until like mid lockdown that I really tried to kickstart my channel again. This was January 2021. That's when I really started weekly vlogging and I was like, okay, I want to do this for a living. And I would say that video is one of my favorite videos because that really, looking back, was like the pivotal shift, the defining factor to where I am now, I would say. Because I posted that first vlog, posted almost weekly, and then 22 vlogs later, vlog 22 was a video where I said I quit my job. A lot of you guys are aspiring YouTubers and you all say either one, you don't feel like your life is vloggable, or like how do I stay motivated to keep this going and to post every week? I literally go through that exact same like feelings even now that I'm doing it full time. And how do you stay motivated? I mean, it's literally just the pain of discipline or the pain of regret. There were moments in those first 22 vlogs where I took a one month break and the only reason I took that break is because I didn't know what to film. And I easily see a timeline where I just stopped there completely in that one month. But looking back, if I didn't keep posting, I would still be at my job because I didn't quit my job until like seven months later of doing YouTube and my job alongside each other. It is different now, the notion of the pain of discipline versus the pain of regret. The pain I go through right now is the pain of discipline, but I also know what the regret would be if I were to stop vlogging right now. Most likely, apply to another CS job and just go back to the life I had right before this. So I feel like I've seen both sides of it. I'm a big supporter of the idea of just going for it because you never know, especially if it's something that you're passionate about or is your dream. If I never posted that video or if I didn't keep going, kept the discipline of keep posting, I wouldn't be here right now. I would be coding, which is, you know, I like coding too, but you know, if I had to choose. All right, so I was just telling them about the pain of discipline versus the pain of regret. But sometimes 
you need more motivation than just fear alone. Mm. And why don't we introduce to them like our little method of staying motivated, <laughs> but also from personal gain. Financial gain. <laughs> Financial gain. We're very competitive with each other. You know, when you go out with friends, you like split the bill or something. We never split the bill. We would just have some kind of wager. If I lose a bet, I pay for his meal. I'm happy. He gets free food, you know, I treated my friend, and he's happy because he gets free food. How does and this have anything to do with motivation? Every time. <laughs> <laughs> How does this have anything to do with motivation? Ready? It's gonna come together. Okay, let's hear it. The title is Staying Motivated. How does placing bets motivate you? The bets that we take are, <laughs> buy me this coffee if we guess the right number. <laughs> In day-to-day -day life, you know, sometimes uh -huh. you need a little kick, a little dopamine. <laughs> I think we need the discipline to stop gambling. Otherwise, we'll regret it later. No more gambling. I agree with your philosophy about pain of regret, pain of discipline. We don't have to apply it to our fun and games, okay? Let games be games. Let right. us have our fun, okay? We can be disciplined in other areas. This is irrelevant to the title. Yeah, irrelevant. <laughs> that was the most useless segment. <laughs>